This particular presentation relates to the Construction Products Regulation and the UK implementation following the publication of the latest revision of BS 6701. This was published on the 30th of November 2017 and contains two key definitions in relation to the CPR. The first covers installation cables and the actual clause is shown here. Further clarity, these cables are deemed to be permanent and not readily accessible. By the wording, this also includes inter and intra cabinet links such as switch links, even though some may mistakenly view these as long patch leads. If they are rooted within the cabinets and along pathways in such a way so they are not easily removed, then they are in scope of the CPR and need to be made from compliant cable. The second key definition covers the nature of the installation. In other words, for new installations and the refurbishment or extension of existing installations, therefore everything. Once more for further clarity. Unlike electrical cables, with telecommunications cables, connections or joints must be kept to a minimum, as each one will introduce an unwelcome signal loss. Therefore, telecommunications cables must be of the same Euro class as they transition between fire compartments. Also consider what the evacuation route or space means. It is effectively any space within a building that a human can occupy. Finally, BS6701 is currently a standard, therefore you can choose to be non-standards compliant, or you can carry out what is known as a BS9999 risk assessment to justify the down rating of the building's requirements. However, if you want to be safe, be compliant.